Kunis is here. All sorts of celebrities are here. I've been a fan of you since I was 12 years old. So much. Thank you. So I want to talk about your career for a moment. Yeah, yeah. What did you want to be when you grew up, when you were a kid? I had no, I was terrible in school. I didn't know. And I was scared to death. I really didn't know. I dropped out of college. I went to junior college. I was trying to figure things out. I worked at a gas station. My parents were like, if you don't go to college, you got to, you know, pay for your rent. And I, I just love music. So I decided to be a DJ. I learned how to spin. I started DJing in clubs. That led to radio. That led to MTV. And it led to, you know, my whole, the voice. It all just started from loving music. What has been your craziest interview to date? We're doing TRL, all of it. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. You know, my, my uh, I have a famous Mariah Carey interview on TRL back in the day. That was interesting, to say the least, and um, a couple of others from there. Marilyn Manson was a good one. And a lot of New Year's Eve, I remember, and spring break interviews, which I don't remember. So there's been a lot of crazy ones in my life. Tell me about The Voice. What's it been being like such part, like a pivotal show and your producer? Yeah. It's so fun. I mean, it's like... Um, I never would have thought after MTV I would have stumbled upon something that would have been so perfect for me. And I love the show and uh, obviously the families I get to spend time with and the artists. It's been a blessing, I mean, to, to you know, be a part of something like TRL when I was younger and The Voice, you know, when, I was, when I'm older. It's a, a real blessing. I kind of think you're America's voice and I appreciate oh, you. Yeah, you're sweet for that. Thank you. So nice to meet you, Carson. So nice to see you too. Keep up the great work. Thank you.